Queen Victoria, Winston Churchill, and Sir Charles Napier. Dressed to impress in Dutch wax fabrics, but stripped of their bronze, marble, and their power. An intention of artist Yinka Shonabari, who says we should question colonial history, not topple it. In the same way that you wouldn't go into a library and start burning all the books you didn't like. We also know that, you know, a person of the 19th century, um, you know, has different values. I think we need some perspective, but we should not erase history. The new exhibition, Lifted States at London's Serpentine Gallery, looks at the impact of imperial ambition too in this, the War Library. Over 5,000 books make up this piece of work and they're wrapped in Dutch fabrics, which is signature of Yinka's style. Now on the spines he's written conflicts and peace treaties from around the world. And he also says he's not taking signs, but with everything from the 7th century to the Gaza War, he is saying it's all history repeating. The idea there is to remind people that we've actually been here before and we keep um, having those conflicts and we keep you know, having the peace treaties. Um, why do we as human beings, why do we keep doing that? You know, it's a question we need to ask ourselves. From Notre Dame ancient temples to a woman's centre in London, miniature buildings that have historically been safe places for the vulnerable. Places of refuge conflict and the link between the two. Is, that, is this what you're trying to say? It, it's deliberate. There's a link between everything in the show. You know, colonization, ecology, industrialization, trade, what that's done to the land, conflict, what that's actually done to refugees, what that's done to, you know, the, the notion of shelter. Conflict, refugees and our colonial history. Hard hitting, but all beautifully dressed. Jason Mansouré, Sky News.